Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to Halacha Day number 1141. Halacha Day keeps the Yitzhar away. I'm actually in Israel, but I know for most people who are watching out in the States, it's afternoon. So that'll be relevant as we count the Omer a little bit later today. But um, this Halacha is in honor of my wonderful uncle and aunt, Uncle Ed and Aunt Ronnie Cohen, as well as my fantastic cousins, David and Rena Lewis, and the entire Lewis family. Thank you for hosting Thank you for making my stay so welcome. And um, the least we can do is honor you with today's halacha. Okay, we're continuing with the laws concerning the order of precedence relating to blessings. Now, just as an introduction, we have a verse. We have actually two verses which teaches us the pecking order for special fruits. Olives, dates, grapes, figs, pomegranates. There's also wheat and barley, but that's not really fruit, so we're not going to count those. But again, olives, dates, grapes, figs, pomegranates, that's the order. And let's see why. And that's why if you have those fruits at a table and you have no pref preference, you would make the blessing over whichever fruit comes first in that pecking order. So if you have grapes and olives, make the blessing over olives. If you have figs and pomegranates, olives, dates, grapes, figs, pomegranates, figs come first. Okay, here we go. If all the fruits are of the seven species, meaning the wheat and barley as well, fine, and you like them all equally, you should give precedence in saying the blessing to the one mentioned first in the biblical verse. And the second time the word Eretz, land, is mentioned in the verse, which lists the seven species, interrupts the order. We'll learn about that in a second. Consequently, dates take precedence over grapes because dates are mentioned second after the second word Eretz in that verse, while grapes are in the third place after the first time it mentions Eretz. This applies only to grapes. Since wine is so important that a special blessing has been ordained for it, Bari Piri Guffin, it takes precedence over all kinds of fruits. And obviously we make a Bari Piri Guffin before we make a blessing on any fruit. So here's what he means. Here's the footnote. The word, the, the verse in Deuteronomy says, it is a land, Eretz, of wheat and barley. Okay, so wheat is the first word comes out of, after the word land, then barley, okay? Then, so barley is number two, then it says grapes, so grapes is number three. Okay, remember that. Then it says figs and pomegranates. But then there's another verse that says a land, not another verse, but part of the same verse, it says a land of olives and dates. So there, the word olives comes right after the word land in the second time it mentions land. And same thing with the dates gets the number two spot. So that's the idea, that that's why olives, dates, gets number one and two, grapes, figs, pomegranates, when you have all five together, okay? And that is the bottom line. Hope you understood that. Two sponsors, Mitchell 36,100 for the gold, and we'll see you tomorrow.